In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create a network topology and for creating network topology, what are the steps required? We will be looking into it practically. So you see here, when you select this network devices thing, you see under that you have routers, you have switches, you have hubs, you have wireless devices, you have security devices as well as WAN emulation also. So when you select each of this router, you have the number of types of routers available here. When you click on switches, you have the generic, the series of switches also available, including the hubs and wireless devices, security and also about the WAN emulation. In the same way, when you select this end devices, you see under the end devices, the first one is computer, laptop, server, you see here printer, you see iPhone, that IP phone, which is VoIP device as well as phone, TV, etc. here. And also you can see there are many options so like appliances AC battery and CO2 detector etc in the same way in the smart city you can see here the ATM pressure monitor battery you can see CO2 detector you can see fan etc also available so we'll see how to create arrange delete and also connect devices among these first we go into the network devices and we select the one type of a router here so to select that you have to you can do one thing like you can click on this the series of router you want and you can click on the the panel which is available for us to place the workspace so you, when you wanted to delete any selected item you can select this into cross on the right side pane so that it will be deleted when you click on it again go into the selected pane and now we have selected a router so now we'll go with the end devices and from end devices we select generic PC so apart from this PC now we will select the generic server so we will take two generic servers and a router here which is which is placed separately beside now we wanted to select a switch also so go to network device under switch will go with 2960 series of switches here and you see when you place on this you can clearly see what are the ethernets available here and what and the state of that and also under which virtual LAN they are available including the MAC addresses available these are auto generated because this Cisco packet tracer is a simulated virtual environment so that it is auto generated so coming to the server under the server you have fast ethernet 0 it is clearly given only one fast ethernet is available here in the same way this other server 3 also has the fast ethernet 0 which is in the down with the MAC address available so coming to the PC so this PC has fast ethernet and 0 and it is also having a MAC address associated with it so now automatically in the Cisco packet tracer the routers are in the on state directly so that you have to off it and also you see here there are no modules available here so we have to assign the modules only in the powered off state so that's the reason you can see here clearly that if you zoom in you can see here there is an option called power on and there is an option called power off here so by default when you double click on the routers configuration window automatically this the router will power on so this is power on symbol you see the green green light here so we have to power off and we have to assign the modules here so we are assigning this module clearly you can see how I am dragging and dropping and you can also clearly see apart from the WIC you can also assign HWIC 2T also available here now you see the modules are arranged here and now you can power on the router so this is how it happened and you can see here clearly the read only mo ROM monitor has been initialized and you can see again it, it got started okay and this is about the router and you can see clearly about the PC connecting to the, P the PC is also having the modules available and this is the tabs available under PC 
which is desktop version dial up IP configuration terminal command prompt etc and coming to the attributes it is given clearly the simulation mo attributes available and the software services available for the PC so now we want to create a network topology so we have to go with this is called connections and you see this is automatically chosen connection so for every connection there is an there is a name you can see the name details here clearly this is automatically chose connection type this is console cable this is copper straight through cable this is copper crossover cable this one is fiber cable and this one is phone cable this one is coaxial this one is serial DCE this one is serial DTE this one is octal cable this one is IOE custom cable and this one is USB cable here so now we wanted to connect our PC to a switch and to the two servers server 2 and server 3 so for that we have we are selecting this cable which is automatically chosen connection so here we are connecting to the switch so from switch again we are connecting it to one of the server again here from the switch we are connecting it to other server here so you see here the PC is now connected to a switch to a server this is called and now we are connecting for three routers so we go to network devices we have chosen the other router and we also chosen the other router and now for this router we have to select the connections which comes under the C serial DTE and here we are connecting to serial port to this gigabit ethernet port and you see here the compatibility issue has arised that the cable cannot to be connected because we are connecting it to serial port to the gigabit it has the serial available so now we are coming back and now you see here we are configuring it again back because you see the modules are not arranged so that we are powering it off we are assigning the modules after assigning we are powering it off and now it's powered on back the same way with the router 4 also and we have powered back again the router so here if you check clearly that the green symbol indicates the connection has been established correctly so now we have chosen the automatic choose connection type and now we are connecting this one to one printer so coming back to the end devices and now connecting this router to this printer and now this switch should be connected to the router so that we are choosing automatic choose connection so now this this is a network topology available if you check clearly that the PC is connected to a switch to the servers and the switch is again connected to three of the routers in the same area and also in the same configuration and now this router is connected to the printer so this is called network topology and if you want to delete any of the connection you can see you have to select this into cable and you see this into is for deletion of the devices you can select on it automatically the connection will be deleted in the same way if you want if you don't want one of the router to be available now you can connect this switch to one of the router 
So this is how it works. And if you don't want this routers to be available, you see this delete option into option. You select and delete one of the router and the connection between them. If you want to delete the entire topology, you have to select the entire topology so it will be grayed out. So if you click on the delete option, you see, do you want to delete the four selected items? It will be prompting out so that you have to when you select yes, then entire will be deleted. So this is about how to create and how to delete and how to connect the devices in the Cisco packet tracer.